Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Helix Method Masterclass. Oh, so good to see you all here. Let me know if you are joining us live for the first time or if you've been to our events before. A huge, huge, huge welcome to you. See you all hopping on here. And some lovely familiar faces. Welcome. And some new faces. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Ah, oh, we got you in, Susan. Welcome. Hi, Karen. Kirsten, Mandy, Rachel, Sue, Susan, Victoria, Wendy in the house. Yeah. Oh, so good to see you all here. Welcome, Glenda. Welcome, Anna. And welcome everybody on Facebook. Ah, oh, so good. So good. Who's excited? Let me know in the comments. Alrighty, we are in for a treat. So, who here has limiting beliefs or resistance that might bubble up from time to time, holding them back? I do, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, me too. And I find that so many, it's completely natural, of course, you know, entrepreneurs and coaches are just holding on to different versions of ourselves that are holding ourselves back. And the good old imposter syndrome comes up as we're stepping outside of our comfort zone, stepping outside of what we know, the certainty of what we know, triggering things like, so let me know if this resonates, feeling unworthy, not good enough, frustrated with their business growth. Hi, Sue. And if you're frustrated with your business growth, what does this then do? Does that then trigger a whole load of other stuff? A whole lot of shame, guilt. What comes up for you when you think about your business growth? And then the thing is, of course, is that that has a huge impact on confidence and ultimately business revenue and then impact with whatever but your business is. I know we've got people with all different businesses here. So let us know in the comments what your business is so we get a sense of who's here. Of course, if you're watching the replay as well, let us know how you serve people. Perhaps you're already a coach, a healer, photographer, artist. Are you retired? What did you do? Welcome, everybody. I can see some more people joining us, which is absolutely fantastic. So the bottom line is, of course, when all of this stuff bubbles up, it has a huge impact on our confidence. And that then has an impact on our business revenue. And the thing is, we do continuously, continually need to do our own our own work so that we can be actually be our own best clients. And that ultimately, when we're being our best selves, that makes our marketing and sales a whole lot easier because we're self-led. We're a walking testimonial for our own work. And that is magnetic, whatever it is that you're offering people. And then when clients come and find you, you become the obvious choice of them because they see that you are a beautiful work in progress and your your own evolution of self. For the coaches out here and those of you stepping into a coaching business, I believe that most people want to see their coach growing and evolving and doing their own inner work and claiming and claiming more of life. So if you have been doing all the right things strategically to grow your business and clients perhaps just haven't been rolling in as you'd hoped or you've been attracting the wrong ones, there's likely something sneaky going on energetically here. Now, the mastery, of course, is getting out of your own way and staying out of your own way so that you can show up and be the leader that you are, that you're meant to be. So for those of you that I am getting to know, I'm going to share a little bit about me by way of introduction so that you know why we are all here to, together today. So I help self-aware entrepreneurs intentionally create their reality and live life at their fullest self-expression. I've personally studied with some of the biggest and most successful names in the spiritual and personal de development and healing profession. And I've used my unique blend of energy psychology, healing, Akashic records and business expertise to, it is thousands now, contribute to thousands of entrepreneurs' lives 
And so you get access to all this experience and knowledge and, and training as we partner together to elevate your consciousness so that you can create the reality that you desire. And I've brought the principles of everything that I've learned from my degree in psychology. Shout out to Wendy, who did her degree in psychology with me. Yay! <laughs> my postgraduate certificate, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? Postgraduate certificate in counselling. I've done a part one of an MBA, a certificate in coaching, learning some certifications in advanced um, energy psychology, Akashic Records, healing modalities and loads from personal studies as well so everything that I've learned from my personal studies of course working on myself and working with over 10,000 people across the globe now into my own unique way of activating higher levels of consciousness and energetic alignment and reality creation and we call our method the helix method so the helix method is our energy psychology modality that heals unresolved and hidden traumas trapped emotions, limiting beliefs, it's all held within your body's intelligence and energy field in a nanosecond and balanced with our daily success manifestation rituals so that you can create rapid transformations in, in your consciousness and therefore in your reality. And truly, it's a method that once you learn, becomes a way of life as you bend reality for your greatest self-fulfillment. So this is my next level of purpose. And I was shown this in the Akashic Records. I'd asked my guides what was the next level evolution of my purpose and my business's purpose? And it, and it was revealed. And at first I was shown a big circle in the center of two horns. And as it was coming through, I was like, what is that? And then the words magic and manifestation came through. And I asked for more information and clarity. And the record keepers revealed that the next evolution of my purpose was to teach others how to help others co-create prosperity across all aspects of their lives. So focusing on these areas of self-love and confidence, health and vitality and wealth so that they can thrive. And I asked for more information on the headdress that I was shown and was shown that this is the lineage from the mystical schools from Egypt of the goddess Isis. And they showed me that the cow horns are a symbol of both abundance and, and the cosmos. And the solar disk symbolizes the power within all of us to create and that the souls that are working with the Helix Method will be activated and remember their power to create abundance and prosperity for themselves, their families and their clients. So it's, this is just so exciting. And this is really the beginning of our journey with the, with the Helix Method. And our company's commitment is to help humans live at their highest value so that they can live at their fullest self-expression, live their best life, live the life of their dreams, because this makes the world a better place. And when, when people are being at their highest version of self and operating from this place of, of love and abundance, when we do this, we make better decisions, don't we? We're better friends, partners, parents, business owners, and that just creates a huge ripple effect around the globe. So we do all of this by being the number one place for our community members to come for energy psychology, reality creation, and channeling higher realms of consciousness. And so then making a bigger impact with, with your businesses. And we are committed to creating a community rooted in diversity, equity and inclusion. And we support the dismantling of white supremacy and patriarchy. This is the place we lead with love. And this is the place to dream bigger and to create that reality. So I'm so excited that you are all here with me today. Let's raise the bar. So this powerful event is going to reveal how you can master the spiritual art of reality creation and create faster results for, for you and your clients with the Helix Method. And we're going to do some energy work together so you can step into a higher transformational frequency. So you're going to walk away with complete confidence that you and your clients, if you work with clients, can break through their resistance and contractions to create a new reality without getting trapped into endless healing patterns. Increased intuition, that results in just more flow in all areas of life and being able to help your clients have this too. This is absolutely so huge. And being able to masterfully highlight and work somatically and energetically with your clients so that they experience instant shifts and then start to see this in their, in their life as well. Because here's the thing, we are all always manifesting. And so it's really important to be 
intentional with what we want to create and being really mindful and, and aware of our, our consciousness. And when you do this, you know, it is just so exciting. You know, the excitement that you are a leader in humanity's evolution. You're working with your clients at a spiritual level. You create an awakened experience and the transformations are just simply, just simply life changing. And you'll have a rare set of skills because you'll be an empowered healer, coach, a pioneer for consciousness. And this, I believe, elevates the standard within the coaching profession. And when you support your clients in mastering energetics and transforming resistance, and I know those of you that are Helix Method mentors and working with energy psychology, you know your clients become raving fans and they are likely to want to continue to work with you over and over and refer you to everyone that they know as well. So let me know if that self-confidence and self-trust would be useful to you and what that would do for you, for your business and, and for your clients. I really see that there is just such a, a huge desire right now, a huge desire for people really wanting to step out of the programming that they have are recognizing around them, step outside of the matrix that created their current reality and to be able to have the wealth, the health, the relationships that they desire, just realizing that they want to let go of the thoughts, emotions and beliefs that got the results that they currently have. There's more to life than they no beyond their current paradigms and self-concepts so they know that they want more of life and they know that they need the leadership the energy coaching and the mentoring and a community to help them do that I think community is so important it's one of the things and I know that so many of you are coaches here let us know in the comments what you what your thoughts are around community for me it's really really important because we manifest in align with our the communities that we surround ourselves with so I'd love to hear your thoughts on and if you, when you're in um, communities, you know, how important is that to you? So, you know, you want more of life, you know, that you need more than just reading books and affirmations and mindset work and journaling. This is the this is the gateway. And people are beginning to recognize that it, the energetics is the missing piece. You know, and I think, you know, with social media opening up conversations for people, more people seeing different ways of living. And the possibilities out there are more accessible because we can see these opportunities around around us as we nurture our social media feeds so that we can see what we want to see and be inspired by it. And so people are looking for coaches to lead the way and to contribute to the spiritual evolution. So this is your call. And we have, a, you know, a limited time as this current personality on this timeline and as coaches, we are perfectly positioned to empower ourselves and our clients to just spend more of life living the one that we actually want to live. Does that make sense? So this training, it, this is to serve you. I will reveal the secret to creating a higher level of transformation for you, for your family, for your clients. And over the last few years, over six years, I have helped thousands of entrepreneurs move past their resistance, heal energetic blocks, awaken and develop their intuitive gifts and start to change the narrative of their life and, and their reality. And this has all resulted in, you know, more growth in their business, breaking through revenue ceilings, physical ailments healed, happier family relationships, and, and just so much more. So now it is your turn. So are you ready to choose a new reality? Let me know in the comments. And then for those of you who want to master energy psychology and the art of reality creation for you and your clients, I have an invitation for you. We'll get to that right at the end. So you can just focus on soaking up and receiving your own transformation right now. So I can see lots of yeses. This is awesome. So this is for you. If you are interested in learning techniques to use just for your own spiritual growth, this is for you. If you're wanting to add energy psychology services to your business, this is for you if you are an experienced energy healer and coach and you're just looking to up level your skills and and your toolbox. Alrighty, so I'm going to just invite you and those of you who've been in my world for a while know I always do this because intention is so important and a creative resource for us. So I'm going to invite you just to take a moment to become fully present so you can just be in this now moment. Gift yourself a couple of letting go breaths and just call all of your energy back to the here and now. So just breathing in for four, breathing out for four, 
just setting the intention I'm here and in this place right now. I call all of my energy back to me. And consider what is your intention for being with us today? How are you allowing this to contribute to who you are becoming? Are you here to, because of a commitment to skill development? Are you here because of your commitment to evolution of self, increasing confidence in self and your results? Are you here because you want to be the best coach, mentor and healer that you can be, the best entrepreneur that you can be? Are you here because you want to learn how you can add the Helix Method to your toolkit and to your services? Let's be really intentional. What's your intention for being with us today? Let us know in the comments. My intention is that for everyone, present, past and future, has the confidence and commitment that they and their clients can break through their resistance and contractions to create a new reality without getting trapped in endless healing patterns and so that we can collectively elevate the consciousness of the planet. So I'm so grateful that the universe has brought us all together for this for this conversation. So let's just take a moment just to create an energetic circle in the ether to hold the energy around us and to connect us. With this intention, notice the energy field on the outside of your body, just becoming aware of your personal energy field. Notice how potent it is. This has your vibration, your unique essence. I'm just gonna invite you just to connect in with your heart and to fill up your little bubble of energy field, your aura with the frequency of love. I can see all the intentions coming in, this is so juicy. And just to send that energy out through time and space the intention to co-create with everybody in the masterclass, present, future, past. And we're calling in our spiritual guides, teachers and masters and beings of the purest and highest light. Etherically support us for our Helix Method Masterclass. Let's anchor that in so you can be fully present. <sighs> when you've got your intention in your heart and you've anchored it in and you've affirmed it in the chat or in the comments, come back to the present moment and I know that you are absolutely going to love this if you are you know you are committed to your own evolution as you as you're leading yourself and self-actualization you're committed to doing your inner work and investing in yourself as part of your continuing professional development and you know that as you grow your business and step into uncertainty and new territory of success your lovely subconscious is going to protect you, contract back, and want to pull you back to certainty. And so various versions of imposter syndrome, feeling unworthy or not being good enough are going to pop up and trigger an emotional roller coaster. So you can find yourself in a contraction that can be impacting your business success. And you want to be able to move out of a contraction into expansion in a loving way without feeling trapped in endless healing patterns honoring and acknowledging your subconscious who is your friend just trying to keep you safe so that you can move into expansion with more with more ease perhaps you recognize you've gotten so far using all the tools that you know but you know that there's more to know and you know that you know you might have blind spots old programming that's creating your reality and this impacts everything around you including your clients and you're open to considering how much better could it get? 
Let me know in the comments what's what's resonating for you. Oh, I love these intentions. Intention to take your coaching business to the next level, to be the best coach. Yes. Got the next block in my wealth creation. I've been feeling the edges of recently. Oh, this is so good. Intention to further evolve so you can serve your clients deeply. Yes. Awesome. I will tackle back and read all the all the comments if I don't catch them all right now. Establish greater belief in myself self-worth to reach out to other selling channels yes oh this is so exciting this is so exciting all righty I love this because I know that once you've implement what you're learning here today you will have complete confidence that you you can break through those ceilings you can create greater belief in yourself to increase your self-worth so that you can break through resistance and contractions to create a new reality without getting stuck in the in the the healing spirals that we can go down because yeah. that can feel safe to be focusing on that increased intuition that will result in more flow in all areas of life and being able to help your clients have this too we really need to be able to know what we need to focus on at that moment in time so we can get the results that we desire and our clients desire so that's where it comes into being able to masterfully highlight and work somatically and energetically with your clients so that they experience instant shifts and see those results in their life and this is just so exciting because you you have an awakened experience and then the transformations are just absolutely life-changing this will change your life it changes who you be you get to be more of yourself ultimately and as you allow more in you can then focus on different things focus on more growth and possibility rather than the distractions of those contractions and resistances does that make sense and then your clients can too when you're working with clients for those of you that are because i know not everybody is all righty so i invited you to create an intention because energy follows intention and our attention drives how we're showing up for ourselves and our behaviors and our actions and so I invite you to be an excellent steward of your attention because as you, you manifest with your attention because where your attention is your energy flows and that becomes your intention it's always a bit of a tongue twist to that one attention and intention <laughs> so we want to be really intentional your attention is your greatest asset. I really want that one to land. Your attention is your greatest asset. What has got your attention? What are you manifesting with where your consciousness is focused? Does that make sense? That's a writer downer. <laughs> my attention is my greatest asset. So let me know if that one resonates for you. Now, for those of you that are new to my world, you might be thinking, why, why am I listening to Louisa? <laughs> so just to share a little bit about me. So over the past six years, I have built a thriving multi six figure company that brings me the fulfillment and sense of freedom that I craved. And my background is I went from it was a really promising career in the public sector, but there just was not enough time to be with my sons, a, a growing feeling of emptiness with just not enough money, quite frankly, at the end of the month. And the stress was then all showing up in my body to reinventing myself and creating a new reality. And along the way, it was my father's death that was the first big turning point for me to really make the decision that it was time that I put an end to this just quite simply endless working and uh, missing out on all the good things in life like you know having good health precious time with my sons my family and friends and having some fun and um, my dad he left us far too soon sadly and he didn't get to live out his dreams of traveling and painting because he was saving that for his retirement so on on top of my grief I had also started to notice the impact of work stress on my own health and it culminated in a, I experienced a bout of shingles and chronic fatigue. And it was not lost on me that that was the start of my father's ill health was with shingles as well. So I paid attention. As you can imagine, I realized I just was not willing to pay the cost of my health any longer. And I wanted to do things differently for my own life and for my family. 
And so it really was the final push that I needed to face the fear of the unknown and and try something drastically different, which was to leave my job and set up my own company. I know others have done that as well here. Let me know if you've done that. So you've gone from that employed world to being self-employed, or perhaps you've always been an entrepreneur. Let, let us know if you've done that, that leap <laughs> in, the, in the comments. And because it's it is a big leap. And it can, you know, it takes a lot of it takes a lot of courage. Huge welcome. I can see some more faces joining us. This is wonderful. A huge welcome, Patty. And uh, anyone else who has joined us as well. So good. So, yes, this was the big leap for me. And it really was the the final push that I, I needed to kind of go, right, I've just got to put my big girl pants on and <laughs> set up my own company and, and go for it. And a, a year or so before I left my job, I had an incredible, and it was only about 10 minute energy healing experience at an event that I was leading, which awakened me to realize that I felt energy and I felt other people's emotions and I knew things beyond intuitive hunches. And I always had. I just hadn't got the language for it. I would have described it in different ways back, back in the day. <laughs> and suddenly my sensitivities and intuition just made sense. And I, I knew I had to develop it. And I threw myself straight away just off that back of that 10 minute um, experience into energy healing training. I just went straight in <laughs> to support my experience in, in coaching and psychology. And, and back then at that time I had racked up, it was over 10,000 hours in leadership and change management over 2000 hours in leadership and performance coaching and mentoring. And uh, so I wanted to add the the, the energetics to, to that and really develop what uh, my, my skill set here. And I've built our company from nothing, you know, using all of our methods that um, I use for my clients as well. So when I partner with you, I bring the perfect mix of energetics and business strategies to, to help you live your most fulfilled life. So my psychology background, together with my energy psychology coaching and then Cash It Records, this means that I'm I'm a trusted expert to work safely with your higher self and consciousness, combined with my 19 years worth of leadership. I've just had my 50th birthday, so I was just like, whoa, this is like incredible. So much, so much life has happened. Um, so bringing all of this combined with my 19 years of um, worth of leadership, business strategy across corporate, public sector agencies, small businesses, online business owners, means I have divine guidance, business experience and transferable skills to help you energetically and strategically bend reality so you can have the results that you desire. So that all said, my upbringing was setting a course, my course direction for a completely different path. And I'm sure that resonates for people as well, <laughs> because you're like, how did I get here? My parents were sending me off on one trajectory. And so my background is I grew up in, in a middle class family in London where you worked really, really hard for your money and it was respected to work hard. Anyone else have that programming and to have the discipline to work hard and to do what you're told? And my parents, they were very loving and I was very blessed to, to have them as my parents. But of course, you know, we had our challenges growing up. And of course, my parents were holding their own generational and personal trauma and impact from their childhood. And it showed up in their ways of being as adults and as parents. And so this had an impact on me. Plus, I was bullied at uh, primary school and I grew up feeling very unworthy and vulnerable at times, really confused, feeling like I really needed to people please as a way to keep safe. It was a trauma response, nothing ever being good enough. Home didn't feel safe at times. School didn't feel safe at times. So this manifested as an as a adult, as an overgiver. Does this resonate for, for anyone else as well? So of course I brought those patterns from childhood into my adult life and how I was showing up in my work. And I was in the corporate world for many years and I was the main bread earner for my two young sons. As a, as a single parent, and I had extracted my children from a cycle that wasn't serving them with their father. So my sons um, growing up stopped seeing their father and that whole side of the family. I put a boundary down as I wasn't willing to collude with toxic family dynamics, manipulation and emotional abuse of my son. So I, I called a spade a spade. And so we extracted ourselves from, from those dynamics. And I was working really, really hard, you know, on that corporate hamster wheel of success basically working really hard for money having no time for life 
But that's what success looked like. And I call it the mask of success because it's it's just it's an illusion. You know, no one feels good working harder, not seeing their family or being too burnt out to enjoy their success. Does that resonate? And so my sense of worth and identity was just all tied up in 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 the role that I was doing and all the illusions and all the beliefs that I held on to without being able to actually see that there was another way. There were more there were more possibilities. And then there was this limit, you know, because I was within social services to how much I could earn. The company could happily give me more work and choose not to give me any more money for that work, even though it took more time and had more responsibility and all, all those things. So I knew I had uh, no choice. I knew I had to think differently and to think about how I could really change my life to create a better life, to create a be a better role model for my children so that they knew that they could create their reality. Like I'd created the one that I was in, I was going to create a new one. I knew and I realized it was time for me to leave. And, you know, I'd seen, as I mentioned, my dad saving up for retirement all of his life and never actually having the opportunity to really enjoy it because he was ill health retired. So his his retirement was full of hospital visits and oxygen tanks and my mum caring for him. And he passed away within weeks of my separation with my children's father, actually, as well. So that was a it was a really, really tough time. And at that time, I'd seen him give up his career as an artist because of his belief. This is why belief work is so important. His belief was that he needed a proper job to care for his family. And soon then he didn't have the time to do his art, run painting holidays and do the things that he actually loved doing. And he always spoke of all the things that he was going to do when he retired. And he just didn't get that the opportunity. And that just breaks my heart. And I was like, there's got to be another way. <laughs> I just didn't want to have those kind of regrets and those missed opportunities. I desperately wanted to you know, live in the now moment and to be able to look back on my life and go, I, I went for it. I made a difference. Boy, did I grow. <laughs> had lots of fun and opportunities along the way and the way I see it is you know we all have aspirations and are inspired by each other's journeys and inspired by people's journeys who are a few steps ahead than us and that's why we work with mentors and you know as our clients work with us if you're a mentor and a coach and when we're mentor when we're working with our mentors and coaches it's so we can calibrate to higher frequencies be part of conversations that expand our consciousness and to be supported, of course, and to have a soft place to land when things perhaps don't go, you know, the way we'd hoped so that we can continue to evolve and grow and become that next level version of ourselves. So I'm passionate about helping as many people as I can claim more of life in this lifetime so that we can all live at our highest potential and to live beyond what we thought was possible and keep expanding. And the principles of what I teach within the Helix Method are what enabled me to break through my own upper limits this, with what I teach in the Wealth Portal. That's how I broke through my own money ceiling. And I continue to work with the Helix Method so I can expand my consciousness and continue to grow into my next level of, of self as well. So I'm so excited and honored to share this with you. So who is ready to really start to understand the secrets to mastering energetics and reality creation so let me know in the comments if you are because i'm going to reveal three keys to mastering the art of reality creation so and then we're going to do an activation to embody the transformational frequency of being a self-empowered creator using the helix method manifesting ritual together and then i'm excited to invite you to our helix method certification program and we would love to have you with us if it feels aligned for you. So are you up for that? Let me know in the comments. I just realized, can you see my, I don't swear very much, but my friend sent me this for my, for my 50th. So I hope you all have a great day. <laughs> I missed out the swear word there, but I love this cup. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. <laughs> I suddenly realized as I was drinking out of it, it's like, oh, we might have got a, a flash, a flash of a swear word there. <laughs> but yes, let's make every day a great swear word day. Mandy's saying absolutely. Yeah, I'm kind of bleeping out the swear word, <laughs> self bleeping here, <laughs> in case um, the uh, you know technical department on Facebook don't like swear words. I don't know if they do that bleeping out. So we are up for it. Alrighty, this is awesome. Okay, so 
master the first key mastering the art of reality creation because reality creation it's about creating an identity that is in resonance and an energetic match to that which you desire so the less we resist our old versions of ourselves the easier it is to embody the new self and as we step into our new identities know that our levels of consciousness and awareness of resistance are going to fluctuate. The key is not to be attached to the levels that we find ourselves in. And this is going to be true for your clients too. And you may have heard of the concept of parallel lives. Let me know in the comments if you have. And perhaps you wondered how you can use this concept in manifesting, where you choose a different reality based on your expectation and your identity. And this is where the concept of the observer effect comes in. It, and what I mean by that, you know, is change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. So you may have heard of this concept that the observer of an event is not independent of the event. So meaning that anything that is observed behaves according to the expectations of the observer. Just let that one land. So if we as the observer expect an event to be successful or otherwise, it's going to behave according to our expectations. Of course, we've got the conscious mind, the subconscious, um, all perhaps thinking different things and influencing that observation, that expectation. So it all begins with observation and the shift of focus onto one path. Observation is one of the powers of our consciousness. So just to go quantum on you for a split second, have you heard of the double slit experiment? I've got a little diagram of it in the bottom right hand corner for you on the on the slide. So the famous double slit experiment proved the particle wave dualistic nature of light. So this also raised in the question of what influence human consciousness plays in the quantum world. So what it did was it brought to light the observer effect and demonstrated how even a passive observation of a quantum phenomenon can change the measure, measured result. So if you haven't seen it, I'm just going to describe it very briefly so that you know what I'm, what I'm going on, on about, is imagine shining a beam of light at a screen that contains two closely spaced parallel slits, like I've got on the little diagram, you know, the little infographic on the slide. Some of the light passes through the slits and strikes another screen. Now, one might expect that each particle will pass through one slit or the other, so forming two parallel bars of light on the second screen. But that's not what at all happens. What does happen is that when the particles go to certain parts of the screen, forming alternate bands of light and dark. So this is created by two sets of waves overlapping in constructive and de destructive interference with each other. So creating the light and dark bands respectively. It is as if each particle goes through both slits at the same time and then interferes with itself. Now, the interesting bit is that when you add an observer, so if a detector is placed by the slits to determine which one a particle is passing through, the wave function collapses and the interference pattern disappears. So what you see on the screen is what you would expect, two parallel bars of light. And it's the mere act of observing, of measuring, taking that takes the particles out of the quantum realm and determines its destination. Now, that can feel very complicated, especially if you've just heard that for the first time. But if we just trust that that has landed in your consciousness and we relate this phenomena to the unfolding of our lives for example mindfulness works because of the observer effect so going through life distracted unaware or too disempowered to make a choice creates a haze like like the interference pattern created in the double slit experiment your attention is scattered remember your energy follows your attention and all of your conflicting impulses beliefs feelings and choices create a cross product influence on the energy of your life and this forms your reality so it can feel like your energy is completely scattered if you don't exercise your power of observation your attention allowing other possibilities to collapse when you utilize of the observation your attention and consciously choose all that other noise and distraction is taken out of your way this landing so your expectation of what you see in your life influences your reality and I think this is just so empowering when we really get this so if we take this deeper there is a, a model called the many worlds model that was first created by a physicist called Hugh Hugh Everett in 1957 and he talks about how with each observed event 
reality splits into different realities that, that don't influence each other. So think of this as infinite parallel lives. So the versions of reality that don't manifest here have manifested elsewhere and are just as real for their observer as the version, version you perceive is for you. So this means that there's no reality without the corresponding observer and there's no observer without his corresponding reality. So reality and observer are always connected. Now, what this means is every reality comes with an observer and every observer comes with the reality. So there is infinite numbers of realities that you do not perceive, but they're just as real as the current one that you've got. And they're taking place just as the one that you're experiencing now. And the exciting thing is they're all accessible to you because they're also you. So this also means that you don't really have to create these realities because they already exist. You really just have to become the version of yourself that corresponds to that desired reality is a vibrational match. So become a vibrational match to your desire. So the way I see it is there's hundreds of pathways and timelines already laid out in front of you. You might call them your destiny or your highest probability. I love talking in terms of probability and possibility. Because at any moment in time, we can take different choices that can change our different timelines. So, of course, you know, whichever path you choose as your infinite self has already traveled all of these paths that you can link into any any of these versions of reality and experience them just as reality as you're currently experiencing them now. So your experience now is the one that you identify fully with. So this is what we mean when we talk about parallel lives. Everything's existing in the now and experience in the now moment. And the ability to become the version that you desire whenever you want is already installed in your consciousness. Yes. So the keys to this ability is in your sense of identity and the attributes of your identity. Does that makes sense. In yourself. So where you are using intention. So we set our intentions at the beginning of our time together. Imagination, belief, attention. Your attention is all here, present moment now. Your emotion, communication and action. And the most important shift that you can make within this is a shift in your identity. So from wherever you are right now, you can then explore the other existing timelines and just choose a different one. By basically taking on the viewpoint of that other version of yourself. The one that already has what you want to create. And as you take on that viewpoint of that other person who's already enjoying that, that reality and, and asking questions from this place, because then you'll get the right answer, you can then start to tune in to what these experiences will feel like. Your body's intelligence will start to know what this feels like as you consider how life might have progressed, the decision you might have, might have made, what is going to be different when you're living in that reality. And as you do this, you're energetically connecting into parallel realities because you've placed your attention on it. So this is all the beginning of it. You are anything that you can imagine. This is the planet of imagination, the planet of imagination and action. And once you really understand how to shift your consciousness so that you can correspond with what you desire and that your desire corresponds with your innermost beliefs, your manifesting is going to completely surprise you and delight you. The thing is, we have to let go of our old identities just so that we can move in and take on and really embody our new identity and to create a new reality. So simply, a change of identity implies a change of reality. Does this make sense? A way to really bring this home is to think a TV doesn't have to create the program it wants, it wants to receive. The program already exists. It's being broadcast through the airwaves. It's already there. All the TV has to do is to tune into the appropriate channel to receive that desired program. So in our energy field or our human Wi-Fi, as I like to call it, if you think of us as being like the TV, we just need to tune into the relevant channel to receive the desired program, to receive the desired reality. So currently you might not be perceiving it because your consciousness isn't tuned into that reception of that reality by synchronizing or aligning or, you know, the vibration. The infinite field just filters out the exact reality that matches your, your vibration. So you might not necessarily get what you want, but you will get what you are. So just think of your vibration as your, as your reception channel. 
your human Wi-Fi holding what you believe to be true about yourself and the reality by what you feel. And what you feel is caused by what you believe and what you believe is caused by who you are defined to be. So everything is your experience is a reflection of your vibrations, which is your emotions, your beliefs and your identity that you hold within. And this is just a gift when we really embody this and realize how empowering this is, because if we don't like the reality that we're experiencing, we just simply need to change our focus, which then switches the channels. Does that make sense? So it really is the consciousness is what we need to take care of. Consciousness is the cause of reality. And when we change our consciousness from this perspective, the results are just extraordinary. So to recap, we start with our identity, changing our identity, then changing the meta model. So this is the core beliefs or concepts that we hold, the perceptions that we view the world with, what we're observing. Then we change our beliefs and our thoughts and we're changing our emotions and our feelings and ultimately the action and the behavior. And a simple way to find out what your core beliefs are is to see what events are manifesting in more than one area of your life. So if something's happening in your job and your love life and your health and noticing the similarity, that's going to lead you to the core belief. And being able to create a new reality from the perspective of everything is already created is so empowering. This view of from infinite consciousness and that we can just move on to a different pathway, a different timeline by bringing ourselves into resonance with what we desire, creating a new version of ourselves, a new identity. This just opens up synchronicities that we can notice and then we get to take action. And then that's what moves us into, into new reality. Take a moment to think, you know, is your current identity holding you back? Your identity in relation to the type of entrepreneur that you are? It doesn't matter which level of business that you're at. There's going to be a transition point from one identity to the next. And we do have to let go of the old one. But who here has found themselves contracting back perhaps after an up level or making a claim to go for an up level? So you know you want to go in this direction and then you start to feel the resistance bubbling up. You're like, what is going on? Let me know in the comments. What are you unconsciously expecting? and therefore creating as the observer in your reality. This is the somatic default point kicking in, the kicking in to keep you in alignment with your, with your current identity. So think of these somatic default points as neural pathways that just are acting as internal reference points that create your glass ceiling, they stop you from increasing your client base, manifesting more money, more joy, more time. They'll stop your clients from breaking through. And our brain and nervous system just works to maintain these set points, even if they aren't serving us. And that's when we can start to see business plateaus, impacting client attraction, our money, our relationships, all the, all the things. So the key here is to change your default set points to create long lasting change. We have to change our set points. We've got to change our identity. <laughs> that will change your vibrational attraction point because everything's energy. You know, we're connected right now, aren't we? Through the Wi-Fi frequencies, we can see each other on the screen through those frequencies. So think of your, your human Wi-Fi as a two-way transmission. So this is your aura holding all your thoughts and emotions, your thoughts are electrical waves. Your feelings are magnetic waves. So your, your Wi-Fi, your human Wi-Fi is electromagnetic field sending out signals, broadcasting to the universe saying, hey, send me some of this and send me some of that. So you can change your identity, your thoughts, and emotions and beliefs and actions. That changes your frequency and you change your experience of life. Does that make sense? This is landing. Okay, awesome. I see this all the time in my clients and our advanced helix method mentors sharing their results with us as well. And just to give you an example of, so you can see what's possible, I want to touch on Tessa's story. I think Tessa is here. Tessa helps people to have a million dollar look so that they can have total confidence and get the results that they want. And as Tessa says, the way you feel affects the way you look. And Tessa decided to train as a helix method mentor and to offer this as a service within her business and has just been so excited by her clients' results. So some of her highlights have included 
a client receiving 35K for 15 hours of work, which just didn't look like that was going to happen at all. Um, it was a real surprise where it came in. Another client transforming stickiness of a business plateau created by a fear of success that just broke a, it broke a six month run of no business to receiving 16K revenue in, in one month. And including her clients, you know, transforming their inner self-image and fear of visibility so that they can then have the confidence and vitality to, to grow their business and uh, have the success that they desire in their life. So the resistance that her clients had felt before they were working with Tessa were the somatic default points kicking in, i.e. the beliefs in alignment with the, the current identity. And Tessa then helped her clients change the reality that they had created and choose a parallel reality and brought their identities and vibration in alignment with those realities. Does that, does that resonate? <laughs> Go Tessa! <laughs> yeah, so this leads me to our second key, which is absolutely key, <laughs> is lead with your higher self. Because we know, we know the thoughts that we think on a daily basis and where our monkey mind is you know, trying to take us out there's a whole load more going on in our consciousness than we can possibly fathom. So our conscious mind is about only five to ten percent of the, you know, the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. And then we have our subconscious mind and our conscious mind as a below the, the waterline of the iceberg. And then we have our superconscious or higher self. So this is your true self. And our conscious mind is where we are intentional, where we have choice. We choose and then our subconscious is our vast, vast, vast collection of unintentional habitual thoughts, behaviours, values, actions. Our identity hangs out here and this has the biggest impact on our outcomes. And here's the thing. If we're disconnected from our higher self, then our subconscious mind is running the show, even though the conscious mind thinks it is. All those reasons why we want to have the visibility of success, to have clients referring Clients to, to you are held in our conscious mind and then all the reasons why not to allow more clients to come to work with you or to make more sales or whatever it is, however your, you know, your business revenue is generated you know, why to slow it down is held in your subconscious mind. And if we're disconnected from our higher self, then we just haven't got the energetic support of our higher self consciousness on board for manifesting. So this is where you can feel like you've got that sensation of a foot on the accelerator and on the brake. Does that make sense? And so what's going on energetically as we move towards creating a new reality is, is that, you know, at any moment in time, we're in a number of different energetic states that we're in. And I invite you to think of three types of just core main energy flows. This is talked about in energy psychology modalities is to think of this as the three, three R's. And the first one is receptive or inflow state. You may have heard of the uh, flow state. This feels like everything's just going brilliantly you, you know that feeling where you're like this is effortless or my relationships are thriving I'm fulfilled my clients are all paying me on time I've seen exponential results in my business you know the kids are doing really well at school all the things everything's just going incredibly well and you're open to allowing things to flow to you and things to feel easy does that make sense then we have resistance. So this is the one that can feel like you're making progress towards your life goals, but it just feels hard. You know, that sense of two steps forwards, one, one step back, like, oh, my God, like pushing treacle up a hill. This is like really hard. Shouldn't it be as hard as this? What's going on? You receive more money and then you get sick. Or you just lose interest. See this one a lot, like just completely you're doing really well. Business is going really well. And suddenly you lose the interest in doing the thing that you've been so passionate about. Think you've lost your motivation. You haven't. It's just resistance popping in. And then we have reversal. So this is when you're stuck. Well, people often say I'm stuck. <laughs> it's like you're going backwards. Like what is going on? My intention, my goal is over there and I'm just going in the opposite direction. And you'll feel like you're going the wrong way. And it can start to manifest things like compassion fatigue, or crisis fatigue. This is where often people will start burning out. Who here has burnt out? Let me know if this, this, this resonates. This is the thing. We're in each of these states at any one moment in time. And what we want to do is we want to have our higher self, our subconscious and our conscious mind all, all aligned. So we're all working in the one direction. So if you think of your higher self as your as the sculptor, and the sculpture is the reality that you've created with the with the universe. And so every thought 
emotion, belief, memory, imprint is just hanging out in the different layers of your aura, your human Wi-Fi, and making up our attraction point. But you want all three levels of consciousness to be in alignment so you can have that flow and not that push-pull sensation or feeling stuck and don't know what to do and how to get out of it. So every thought, feeling, word that you make in this life is imprinted in every single cell of your body. And your DNA is not in control of your experience in life. It's, it's your general attitude to life that tells your DNA what kind of person you want to become. The negative thoughts and emotions, they cause your DNA to contract and positive thoughts and emotions cause your DNA to expand. And this is happening at this very moment in time. So the process of programming your DNA is known as epigenetics. So how the environment affects your genes and at a quantum level, your environment is created by your attitude. So we're all familiar with the double helix shape of DNA. Your DNA is a salt in its solid state. It's a natural conductor of electricity. It, it's sensitive to electromagnetic waves. So think of this as your thoughts, you know, sending out those electrical waves, your motion sending out those magnetic waves. And these are electromagnetic waves and they impact your DNA. So know that your cells are, are listening to the words that you say. This is so life-changing I think when you really embody this and I know people are at different points of their journey with this your cells are listening to the words that you say and we can deprogram low frequency patterns in our bodies and reprogram ourselves with higher frequencies through our manifesting process and we're going to be activating higher frequencies throughout your cells and your personal human wi-fi today which is so exciting so exciting and this, it, this is so key because your DNA generates the overall vitality and quality of your aura, your human Wi-Fi, that's directly linked to your health and your ability to transmit light waves out into the environment. As you expand your auric field and you fill it with more and more love, your fields can unlock block pathways, gives you access to powerful, powerful healing energies. And then you're working, you're co-creating with the power of synchronicity, the universal law of good fortune, and you're just drawing prosperity to you. So to break through, those different levels of consciousness need to all be in alignment, all working in the same direction, all in flow. And then the more resistance and reversed energy that we start to free up, the more flow we have, and momentum really, really starts to build. And, and having a process that you can confidently use to guide yourself through, if you work with clients, to guide your clients through, really can help you navigate the complexities because it can be really complex when we're working with the subconscious. And we do dive into this um, in depth in our certification program so that you can do this for yourself. And of course, then you can guide others as well. Just to briefly share Michelle's story. So Michelle, she is passionate about healing. That's her, her jam. And she wanted to have a structure she could follow so that she would have confidence that she was able to help transform her clients' issues. And, you know, really passionate about health. She'd been trained in another modality, trained in the Akashic Records as a consultant as well. She did the Akashic Record training with me as well. And she wanted to increase her confidence in her skill set. And she found her confidence increased with the frameworks and the structures provided to create real transformation with, with her with her clients and she just absolutely loves the techniques and she's been able to share with her clients to unlock their subconscious to be able to really get to that root cause of trauma so that because often clients aren't aware what triggered the disease in the body if that makes sense they know something that they know the outcome but they don't know what the root is and that's where that's where we come in and being able to learn, you know, how to read what is going on in your client's energy field is, is, is and to know what, how to read what's going on in your own energy field is just key to being able to really zero in on all the unknown fears, beliefs, resistance, and just hanging out in your field. And uh, so I'm so excited to be able to guide this, guide you through this now so you can have your own experience. We're going to unlock what is hidden energetically because we all have, as everyone was kind of fessing up, like we all have limiting beliefs, resistances and fears. And we talked about how imposter syndrome can bubble up as we're growing our businesses. So we're going to going to do some muscle testing to see what might be hidden. I'm going to explain the beliefs um, to you to you now, how to do the muscle testing and then demonstrate demonstrate how to do this for you so um, I know people here some people here have done muscle testing how, who here has done that use the sway technique so we use the sway technique within the helix method 
Yes, yes, yes. I can see the mentors coming in going, yes. Awesome. Okay, so muscle testing works for those of you that are like, huh? <laughs> what, what is this? It works because your thoughts and emotions produce a certain response in your, in your nervous system, which is connected to your brain, affecting the movement in your body. And the unconscious part of you that doesn't rely on logic or rational thought is just naturally drawn to something that seems positive and naturally repelled by something that, you know, isn't truthful for you. So what we do is when you ask your body a question, so we use your body like a dousing device and you're standing in a relaxed state, you will naturally sway forwards for something your body agrees with and you'll naturally sway backwards for something your body doesn't agree with. And I have a nice little diagram for you on the bottom right hand corner of some showing you what is going to happen when you start to muscle test with the forward sway for a yes response and a backward sway for a no response. If you've never done muscle testing before, it's really simple. A couple of things just to make sure you get a clear reading. So to set you up for success. So I'm going to invite you just to do a thymus thump here. So just tapping your thymus band, hopefully you can see. And just breathing in slowly and deeply as you're doing this, just setting the intention to align your energy. And you tell yourself that you're going to go forwards for a yes and backwards for a no. And what can really help as well when you're doing the, the, the muscle testing is to make sure that you're kind of looking down, looking down towards your heart center. So you've got your eyes closed. So your focus is within rather than out outside. So I'll often if I'm working one on one with people is to get them to close their eyes, just start to become aware of their breath so that their focus is within. You'll get a clearer reading then. And then I'm going to invite you, if you've never done this before, just to do like a baseline test. So say something that you know to be true that you're not attached with. So it doesn't mean anything to you. Like my name is Louisa Havers. That I know to be true. My name is John. I know that's not true. So my body's going to go, no. <laughs> and do your age. But I am 50. Go forwards. I am 25. My body's going to go backwards. So I'm just going to give you a moment to, to, to do that. Let us know um, if you have never done it before. Has everybody here done it? Let's have a little check to see if everyone's done it. All righty. Everyone got a baseline? Okay. Perfect. I can see everyone standing up just doing that little, little baseline test. That's beautiful. All righty. So just to set us up here, I just want to introduce you to different levels of consciousness different levels of beliefs because beliefs can be formed at different points in our lifetime so we're going to in a moment be muscle testing on the belief i am good enough and there's different layers that we can be holding this belief so you may find as a child for example you did or didn't fit, fit feel that you were good enough and so you may get different responses when you muscle test this on different levels of the belief so these different levels so the core belief our core beliefs these are what we take on and are imprinted on our fields from when we were children in this lifetime and these are beliefs that have just become part of us energetically they're held in energy at the frontal lobe of the brain so often when i'm working with clients if they say that they've got some sort of um sensation coming up here we know that it may be a core belief that is that is moving the genetic level this includes programs that are passed on to us from our ancestors or in our genes these beliefs are energies stored in the morphogenic field around our physical DNA. This energy tells the DNA what to do. And energetically, it's around the pineal gland. And then we have the collective consciousness and the past life level. So we like to muscle test these separately. So this includes memories from past life, parallel lives we were speaking about earlier, deep genetic memories and from the collective consciousness, because we are all connected through one and, um, electromagnetic field. Energetically, I've found that these are held at the back of the neck and shoulders. So often if people are feeling a sensation here, then it's likely that there is this could be held in the past life or the collective consciousness. And then we have the soul level. So just think of this as being across all of your being. 
and energetically you may feel some pressure around your heart chakra and moving out through the layers of your auras so whistle stop tour of the different levels of beliefs just so you can kind of start to get a flavor for this so I'm going to invite you to muscle test each of these and ask which level of belief this is energetically sitting on this is going to give you a, a, a deep awareness and the thing to note is that you may have as I mentioned a belief on one level and not on another level so you may hold conflicting beliefs such as you know I'm good enough on the soul level but I'm not good enough on the on the core level so what we're going to do is I'm going to invite you to connect with your higher self. I'm going to guide you through this and then we're going to muscle test. Let's unlock what's held in your body and your energy field. We're going to just get curious about, OK, what's going on here? Because if we're holding this, how is this affecting our, our vibration? So I've got a little workbook for you that I'm going to share. And I will uh, pop this in the chat for you, which will guide you guide you through. Let's just see if I can get the Facebook group. See where everybody is. There we are. Pop this group, pop this here for you as well. Can everyone see that? I'm just popping it in the in the chat for you as well. Alrighty, so I am going to. Hopefully those of you in Facebook can see that. I've literally just um, put it in the comments. So have a scroll and you should find it there for you. Alrighty, okay, so I'm gonna guide you through. So we're going to activate your connection with your higher self. So I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes and to create an intention of connection. So breathe in for four, hold for four, and then to breathe out for eight, and just to do this three times. And as you're doing this, at your own pace, just invite you to become aware of your soul star chakra about 18 inches above your crown. And then when you're ready, affirming to yourself, and you can follow along if you're not familiar with these words, they're all written out in the workbook for you. Speaking to all levels of my consciousness. I'm setting the intention. I'm creating a clear channel of communication, manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self. They are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, and from this space, I'm gonna invite you to stand up with your feet and hip, feet hip width apart. Relax your knees, close your eyes. And we're going to muscle test with the I am good enough. Now I'm going to invite you just to bring into your mind's eye your intention that you want to create for this month in your, in your business or life. So that you've got that in your mind's eye. And we're going to say this as the positive. So just to speak to this. So we're not going to say I'm not good enough because the subconscious doesn't often hear, always hear the not. So if you get a no sway when we say this as your positive, then I want you to take that as the subconscious saying you're not feeling that you're good enough. So I invite you to say now out loud, I am good enough is on the core level. And then make a note, do you go forwards or backwards? I am good enough is on the genetic level. Do you go forwards or backwards? I am good enough is on the past life level. Do you go forwards or backwards? I 
I'm good enough is on the collective consciousness level. You go forwards or backwards. I'll ask you to let me know in the comments in a second. I am good enough is on the soul level. Do you go forwards or backwards? The other thing to notice as you're doing this is how did they differ? Were you aware that one felt like a strongest way forwards or a softest way forwards? How is your body responding? As you were saying these words out loud, remembering ourselves are always listening. If you've got a very clear goal, you can also muscle test these, very, linking it very specifically with this goal. So I'm good enough to create, receive X, Y, Z. Ah, yeah. So we've got some different sways going on. Okay, awesome. Awesome. So for the purposes of today, we're just going to forwards is a yes, backwards is a no. When the sway is doing something else, there is so it's telling you something. We dive in deep in level two in the helix method into the, the language of the, 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 uh, the sway. Um, but let's for, for now, to keep it simple, read that as that can be like um, reversed energy, just going, you're going in a, like a stronger energy pool showing you that there's big momentum built up around that thing saying yes or no, if that makes sense. Okay, that is great. So you're feeling the difference between so you're saying the same, same words, but being very specific and intentional as to where you're wanting the reading to be and your energy was telling you by strong sways, little sways, wonky sways, <laughs> all, all the different types of things that have been going on. So this is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Alrighty, so I'm going to guide you through. We're going to release this. I'm, you know, I'm not good enough. We're going to say it as I'm good enough, no, so that we're not bringing in the, the, the not in there. And uh, I'll guide you through this. So this is in your in your workbook, so you can follow along. So let's do this together. So I'm just going to invite you to bring your heart into coherence energy. So breathing in for four and breathing out for four. Let's do it again. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And I like to say the phrase three times. This is so that we can hold the frequency for long enough. And I'm going to really invite you to notice how your energy is responding as you say this out loud. So we're going to say it once out loud and then twice internally, because I have found that it's easier to stay within the frequency and focusing on within and what, paying attention to what's happening somatically with your body when you say it internally. I'm going to say it out loud for all three times so you can just follow along. OK. So the key here as you're doing this is to notice where your body's intelligence is speaking to you and showing you where your belief, emotion, thought or pattern might be held. So just go slow. You're listening to your consciousness. So let's say this out loud. I'm ready to release this belief. That I'm good enough now. I release this from the core level, the genetic level, the past life level, the collective consciousness level, the soul level. I release this from all dimensions, planes, times and all levels of consciousness. Breathing in grace and love, breathing out all energies that no longer serve. And now I'm going to invite you to silently say it within. Again, really noticing how your body's speaking, any sensations in your body. Are you hot, cold, any memory, seemingly random memories coming forward? Your subconscious is speaking and showing you where this has been trapped and held. So silently saying, I'm ready to release this belief that I'm good enough, no. From the core level, 
genetic level, the past life level, collective consciousness level, goal level. I release this from all dimensions, planes, times and all levels of consciousness. Breathing in grace and love, breathing out all energies that no longer serve. Noticing what you notice. I'm going to stay with this and just do this one more time. I'm ready to release this belief. I'm good enough, no. I release this from the core level, the genetic level, the past life level, the collective consciousness level, the soul level. I release this from all dimensions, planes, times and all levels of consciousness. Breathing in grace and love. Breathing out all energies that no longer serve. So let's just take a pause, see how everyone's doing before we move into imprinting. I'm going to create the, I'm good enough for this, whatever it is that you're creating. So how's everybody feeling? Any sensations? What came through for you? Any sudden memories appear that you were like, what? I had forgotten that. Did you get hot, cold, tears, farting, coughing, all the things? Okay, you can feel it in your solar plexus, in your neck, tingling sensations in your head. Okay, this is awesome. So we're really opening up the subconscious. It's speaking through the body, not in your stomach. They're showing you where the energy pattern is being held. So we can transmute this and let it go. Arms are cool and tingly, hot soles on the on your feet, burning feet. Okay, this is so awesome. Alrighty, okay. So let's imprint. We've created a void, we've taken out that on fire feet. <laughs> You need a foot bath, cold foot bath. Alrighty. So you can see how energy is moving and how it's moving in different ways for people, where they're holding their emotional imprints, the, the beliefs, the, the memories, all the things. Your subconscious is speaking to you and it's all coming in different ways. Oh, fantastic. So good to see you here. Alrighty. So let's create quantum coherence. So we're going to invite you to Go back into breathe in for four, breathe out for four. You might want to put your hands on your heart. And just focus on your heart and fill your heart up with love. And when you feel the love, you're ready to command in with the intention that it's already done. We're observing it, remember? bringing it in, this is how we collapse timelines. We're gonna say it once out loud and twice internally. So the phrase is, and this is in your, in your workbook, I'm good enough for, so whatever the goal is, you'll have to fill in the blanks because I don't know what all your goals are. I'm good enough for X, Y, Z. And I feel, how do you feel about this when you've got this? I feel peace, I feel happy, I feel accomplished, whatever it may be. So I'll say the phrase out loud, you can follow along, fill in the gaps, because I don't know all your individual pieces. Righty. So once out loud, I'm good enough for, and I feel successful, happy, peace. On all belief levels, I allow this into my being across all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. We're staying with this frequency and this intention, breathing in for four, breathing out for four, noticing how your body's feeling, filling your heart up with more and more love. I am good enough for X, Y, Z goal. And I feel how do you feel? 
I allow this into my being across all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. One more time, I'm good enough. I am good enough. And I feel, I feel happy, delighted, successful. On all belief levels, I allow this into my being across all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. Just breathing in grace and love, breathing out all energies that no longer serve. And then just take a moment to notice how you're feeling. And when you're ready, we'll come back together. Pop in the chat. Let me know how you're doing. Feeling good. All righty. <laughs> More fire. <laughs> I love it. Things are heating up over here. <laughs> this works so well because you discover what is hidden in the vastness of the subconscious and someone, you know, your energy field, someone else's energy field, as you could see, everyone was experiencing it in different ways. Hot feet, <laughs> things going on in the back of the neck, all, all the things going on. And so people are being um, releasing energy. Different chakras are, are speaking to you. Your meridians are speaking to you as the energy is moving through. You know, all of this, our, our aura, our energy field is really, really complex. We have complex components of, of our energy field and, and consciousness. And as you and your client clear up their energy field, you know, your intuition is awakened and strengthened. It truly is. As you learn to read your, your your own energy field to re read your client's energy field you discover good old blind spots master the energetics so you can really know what you know discover what the next layer of healing and resistance is that you can integrate and then this is where you get the lasting lasting transformation we've got entrepreneurs in the certification program that just wanted to do this for themselves rather than seeing it as a business and funnily enough they now want to add this into their business as they want to help others because they've seen the results that they've had in their in their own life and Mandy, I'm going to give you a shout out now because I can see you're there with different hair now. <laughs> Mandy's gone blonde. So just wanted to give Mandy a shout out because this really is an introduction to, you know, a couple of the energy techniques that we train on in the Helix Method. And we do dive in deep. And there's lovely Mandy who is live with us said she felt like an alchemist with a magic box that she can use with her with her clients. We dive deep with advanced techniques in the helix method that you know that aren't shared in the other programs that i've seen out there you know you probably would need to do about 10 other energy healing programs to have the in-depth toolkit that we give you in the in the helix method so you'll know if this is for you you'll feel that full and i have an invitation for you for you at the end so i'm excited to to share that with you all righty so we have transmuted the energy around being good enough for your goal Let's activate the transformational frequency of being self-empowered. So we're going to do our Helix Method Manifesting ritual, and I'm going to lead you through this. So let's start to become, start to change your identity around your business, changing your perception and your reality so that you can become the frequency of your higher level transformation and, and bring yourself into resonance with this. Does that sound, does that sound good? Alrighty, so let's just take a moment to con consider your intention. So bringing your attention back to intention. I wish that wasn't such a mouthful to say. It always feels very complicated to say that. <laughs> bringing your attention back to your intention and to think of your goal and think of the concept of being self-empowered to experience your goal. So a concept is everything you accept and believe to be true for yourself and for your reality. So when we think about this, self-concepts i've got some examples for you here so when you think of this idea just think of this as actually holding this as a belief what would you see this 
what would you see in your reality if you were like, yeah, I, I know I'm completely self-empowered. I have this goal. It is done. It is done. It is done. I've got this. So I'm going to invite you to take a moment to create an image in your mind's eye in relation to these self-concepts. So in your worksheet, you'll see our manifesting ritual laid out. So just to speak to this for a second, and then I'm going to guide you through. So we always start with activating the connection with your higher self so that we get our different levels of consciousness on board all together. You'll then see that we I take you through an intro to what is a concept. So it is everything that you accept and believe to be true about yourself and reality. And I give you some examples of some beliefs and ideas that you might want to take for a spin if you're imprinting being self-empowered to have the goal that you desire. So these could include things like, I have the courage to take action, I'm productive, I'm creating self-confidence, I'm growth orientated, I'm competent, I'm curious how I can do better, I'm good enough, I trust in my abilities and have faith in my journey towards growth and transformation, I'm worthy of love and success, I believe in myself, I'm capable of achieving anything I focus on, I'm committed to personal growth and development, I'm capable of achieving my full potential. So there's a lot there, a lot of examples there. So I want you to, um, in a moment, to choose five that we're going to imprint. Now, change the words if the words aren't how you would say it. Does that make sense? You want it to be in language that you would use. So if it's, you know, you wouldn't say capable, what's the word that you would use instead of capable? Does that make sense? So you want the words to, to be re resonant for you. So I'm going to invite you just to write out with your hand because we create so much in this 3D plane with our with our hands and with action and our subconscious really uh, does well with things we, using our hands. So write out with your hand. I joyfully accept and believe the idea that I'm self-empowered. Again, if you wouldn't say I'm joyfully <laughs> accept and believe, if you say that, I'm just, you know, I'm so grateful that I'm self-empowered. I'm so grateful, that, you know, that I believe the idea that I'm self-empowered. So that's what I mean by just tweaking the language so it resonates for you. I'm so thankful, I, I believe, the idea that I'm self-empowered. And then I'm going to invite you, now that you've connected with that, is to choose five beliefs, ideas that become beliefs, because they're not going to probably be beliefs yet. And to think about, OK, so what would this look like in my life, in my reality? What would I be observing if this was true? So, for example, I have the courage to take action. Well, what might I see in my life to know? What's the manifested scene that I have had the courage to take action? So this could be you visualize a scene of you confidently creating a new program, confidently trying new ideas with your photography because I know you have um setting up a meeting with a financial advisor it could be trying new techniques with your clients whatever it is you've had the confident courage to take action does that make sense so it's what what would you be seeing in your life? Because what we're going to do in a second is for each of these beliefs, I'm going to get you to run a one minute movie. So you're imagining this, you're activating this belief in your human Wi-Fi by seeing this image. So connecting the belief with an image in your consciousness. Does that make sense? I've got some nods. OK, so another one, I trust in my abilities and faith in my journey towards growth and transformation. This could be you're visualizing, you seeing yourself having a really productive day, you're getting up, you're going to the gym. You put the horses out. I'm just trying to think of lots of <laughs> who I know is here who might have different things going on. You put the horses out, they're out in the field, then you've taken the kids to school, and then you've just smashed it at work and you know, got all the things you wanted done.
could be I'm worthy of love and success and I believe in myself so this would be a really fun one to do so this would be you could be visualizing yourself celebrating success you're out for dinner with some friends and you're telling them how it went and they're saying congratulations so you're listening to the conversation super super powerful does this make sense so I'm going to give everyone a few moments to create your manifested scenes and then we're going to I'm going to guide you through we'll do this together Let me know in the chat when you are, when you're ready. When you have your manifested scenes. If you need a hand with creating any images, then let me know. What does being self-empowered look like for you? Confidently taking action without attachment. I'm growth orientated. This could be visualizing a scene of you learning a new skill. Taking action to grow beyond your current container. It's really been landing with me this week as I've been... <laughs> repotting my orchids lovely orchids I love my orchids and there were a few that needed repotting and boy they've transformed since I put them in a bigger container and I was like oh here we have <laughs> just right before we nature <laughs> showing me how we need to expand our containers so that we can grow <laughs> and what would that look like for you because you're, you're not an orchid but like, how can you grow your what would be expanding your current container to show that you're growth orientated? What would that look like in your in your in reality? Well, it could look like you've launched something. It could look like you've re, um, sold a house, bought a new house. <laughs> what could that look like for you? Alrighty, so. Susan is ready. Everybody else got their five, five things. My figs are growing massive since they said a giant pot. <laughs> it works. <laughs> this stuff works. Expand your container for the human and for the plant. <laughs> and you will grow. <laughs> oh, I love it. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is I'm going to invite you to connect to your higher self and I'm going to invite you to visualize these images for one minute. So I'm going to be like the DJ. <laughs> I'll pop some music on so that you can just be within, know, know the image that you're imprinting in your frequency as we're starting to create the consciousness of your future self to, so that you're really embodying these self-concepts of being self-empowered. And then when you're in this frequency of embodying the self-concept, I'm going to invite you to live in the energy of the question. So I'll share that with you. And then you get to take action on the, on the inspiration. Now, just as a word of, if you find it hard to visualize, the self-concept might just be further away. So when we do that bit, just repeat the self-concept over and over. So don't worry if you're like, I can't really see the image. Just it, do inner rewiring and repeat the image um, in your mind's eye over and over. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm going to invite you to just take a moment just to connect with your higher self. So closing your eyes. We're going to create the intention of connection through our breath. So breathing in for four, holding for four, breathing out for eight. And do this three times. Collectively speaking to all levels of your consciousness, we're setting the intention. I'm creating a clear channel of communication and manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self. They are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty. I'm going to invite you just to muscle test briefly before we do the imprinting. Do I have resistance or interference to being self-empowered? And then just see if you get any results. My hands are trapped in my hair. If you have any resistance or interference to that concept itself, and if you do, you're just going to release this. If you don't get a, a, a yes for that, then we're just good to go on to the imprinting. So if you do find that you have some resistance, then you can just simply say, I release this interference to being self empowered. I release this from all dimensions planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. Breathing in and out. Just do that three times. Alrighty, everyone good to go, no resistance. Okay, let's do this. Alrighty, so I'm going to be the DJ. I'm going to invite you to do the first manifested scene. So whatever that is for you. So the one that I've got here is I have courage to take action. I'm going to pop some music on. Where's my music on? And we're going to visualize this for one minute before we move on to the next, next one. Time to move on to the second manifested scene. So start to bring that image into your mind's eye and really allow yourself to feel it. Time to move on to manifested theme number three. Time to move on to manifested theme number four.
I'm to move on to manifested feeling number five. Beautiful. How is everybody feeling? Feeling good? Alrighty, so I'm going to invite you now to continue building this frequency that we've created around being self empowered. And so to do what I call out loud rewiring activation. So to say this out loud and just to really allow yourself to feel what this feels like, remembering yourselves, listening to every single word that you're saying. So again, say this however you've written it out. I joyfully accept and believe the idea I'm self-empowered or I'm grateful I believe the idea I'm self-empowered. I choose my reality. I'm just going to get you to invite you to just say this out loud for just two minutes. Really allow yourself to like feel the self-empowerment as you say this out loud. Beautiful. Whilst we're in this frequency, I'm just going to invite you just to stay here for a moment. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. As you're bringing your heart into coherence, you've activated this frequency, you're vibrating self empowerment. And to live in the energy of this question. As, as you ask yourself these questions whilst you're in the energy of quantum coherence of your activations, asking this from the parallel reality of the you who's already received this. Why am I surrounded by love and abundance? We're not trying to consciously ask this. It's more of a like, wow, this is amazing. Why am I surrounded by love and abundance? Just notice what you feel. Just as you're breathing in for four, breathing out for four. 
I like to think of it like I'm giving the universe the question on a piece of paper. So the universe goes off and goes, right, ah, that's my task. I'm off to bring those synchronicities to you. <laughs> and that way we can be in the energy of detachment. I invite you to write down any intuitive ideas that you're getting in this now moment. And equally, you'll be receiving some in the coming days as well because you've activated this. So that's the bit that you get to do now is to take the aligned action. Alrighty. How is everybody feeling? So powerful, amazing. Yes. Powerful, amazing, limitless. Yes. <laughs> All righty. And whilst you're in this space, it's like, what action can you take that will make this manifestation in inevitable? Feeling energized, fantastic. Our Helix Method manifesting ritual of connecting in with your higher self. Activating the frequency, so creating the consciousness of your future self. A lot of work that goes on in that piece. Living in the energy of the question. And then, of course, taking the aligned action, so we bring it in onto the physical plane. Yes, expanding, powerful, so actions coming to mind. I've already started on this. Hooray! So you've activated the transformational frequency. Alrighty. This is so exciting. Yes! <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, we have covered a lot. Oh, these words actually made me cry. So beautiful. Taking action. Actions coming up and realizations. Okay, this is awesome. This is awesome. So we have covered a lot. We've revealed the secret to creating a higher level of transformation, how you can have complete confidence that you and your clients can break through their resistance and contractions and creating a new reality by changing your identity, bringing yourself into resonance and calibration with what you desire and doing this for yourself as well. We've covered the importance of bringing all levels of your consciousness into alignment for manifesting. So key, letting the higher self lead so that you have the power of your higher self on board for creating quicker results, resulting in increased intuition, more flow in decision making, how to read your energy, find out what's going on energetically so you can unlock what is hidden and to focus on the key thing that's going to make the biggest difference for you, for your client. This is how you masterfully highlight and work through the energetic resistances and the contractions and all the things so that you can create the reality that you desire. You can help your clients create the reality that they desire as well. We have that integration and a long lasting transformation because that's what we want. I truly love this way of being so much. It has changed my life. My client base has expanded exponentially. I get to work with the most amazing entrepreneurs and, and clients. I love that we can bend reality by doing this work and to choose a new reality and to experience that. So I hope that this has served you. I would love to know what has been your takeaway from today. This is really key so we anchor in that learning. A lot, but I think clarity and focus will emerge. Yes. So what has been your takeaway? We can always be what we desire. Yes. Focus more on my attention. Me believing in myself. Oh, so good. But it's okay to reinvent yourself for the high good. Yes. To dare to listen to my body. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. Love of community, connecting back into the beautiful lot, focusing on intention. <clears throat> reminded me again that I'm limitless and the power of saying everything out loud yes letting our higher self lead the way yes 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 oh this is so exciting so exciting Alrighty, so thank you so much for joining me for those of you that would like to find out more about your next step from today 
and you'd like to go deeper to add to your toolkit and skill set, then I'd love to invite you to stay on and to see what we are up to. I'll just take a few moments to share the GC details, take any questions that you have at the end. We are opening the doors for our next intake for our certification program for the Helix Method. And as a certified Helix Method mentor, you'll have the most powerful transformational energy techniques in your toolkit. And the most important key to your success as a, a coach, a mentor and a healer is, is having complete confidence to get the results your clients want and being the best at what you do. So as a certified Helix Method mentor, you'll be able to create a higher level of transformation for yourself and your clients. This is an in-depth training that will enable you to confidently remove your clients' limiting beliefs, energetic blocks and resistances with immediate results. And during the Helix Method training, you'll experience your own spiritual activation and transformation that will empower you to become more of yourself and to make you a spiritual powerhouse. So if you want to be part of our growing community of leaders who are pioneering the next global shift in consciousness, then this is for you. I am bringing together a select group of leaders, coaches, mentors and, te and uh, teachers and teaching them how to master energy psychology, healing, alignment and manifesting skills to help them and their clients have extraordinary results because that's what everyone wants. And the key to success is to create deep and rapid transformation. And so the Helix Method will clear every block to success in a matter of hours that other modalities might take years to achieve. So is this you? Are you ready to master energy psychology and to bend reality? Then you can go to my website. I shall bring it up here so you can see what it what it looks like. This is the the link, and I'll just walk you through the through the details. Let me pop this in the chat for you. Oh, thank you, everybody. Exciting seeing all your comments. Okay, so I've just popped the link in the Facebook group and in the chat room for you, the chat room in the uh, meeting chat for you as well. So this is so exciting. So imagine being able to have complete confidence that, you know, your clients can break through their self-sabotage and blockages without having to spend months and months of inner work before they actually see a change, knowing for certain that your clients are actually going to get results and that they will be super thankful for, for the work that you did together and that your clients will be able to confidently take action towards their goals and so that they actually do live the life that they they dream. So I'm going to teach you how to energy coach your clients. They're creating fast, predictable results anytime that they want, because being in flow without the resistance or the interference is, is key to success. And as a, as a result of this, you'll gain your client's trust and long-term loyalty. They'll naturally step into the next program that you offer, creating a business that takes care of you as you take care of your clients. And my intention within our transformational vortex is that you have a complete toolkit and framework that you can use for yourself and with your clients within 60 days or less without having to spend hours on writing up case studies or writing a thesis. We've created a program so you can start working with clients right away. And depending, of course, on your level of experience, you'll have gone through the first level of training within 60 days and have protocols and programs that you can just literally lift off the shelf um, to use straight away. And if you're an action taker, you can dive into the modules and you know ask questions in the Facebook group if you need to straight away. And you can be selling what we teach within 60 days and I give you access to the coaching calls for a full year so that you're fully supported and that you can you know tap into um, the support you know when complex issues issues come up so you're receiving life coaching and mentoring in a 12-month transformational vortex that we give you access to the coaching calls for a full year because we like you and we get to hang out with you and we're here for all the all the tricky stuff. So in the first phase, you learn the foundational techniques for energy alignment and alignment across the different levels of, of consciousness and manifesting, including, you know, how to use the techniques for yourself and how to read your client's energy, understanding energetic structures, reality creation, showing your clients how to say goodbye to the, the their subconscious blocks in their in their nervous system. And you receive three curriculum for programs on the prosperity codes for self-love and confidence, health and wealth. So you can start working with your 
clients in this way and you'll be able to work you know one-on-one or in a group setting with our curriculum so maybe that's three five ten clients that's of course completely up to you so you can just spend a few hours a week in client delivery and then support a larger group of clients and you receive your certification on completion of of this program then in the second phase you learn advanced techniques to work more deeply with your clients to work with holograms colors advanced energetic structures and to certify at level two, you complete the course content and submit five case study reflections to share your learning and insights. And this informs the, the certification. So ultimately, the program is designed to help you master energetics and reality creation both for you and for your clients and to be able to use this straight away. And we've got powerful frameworks for common client issues that you know show up when someone's in contraction, training how to help them you know shift out of that contraction into greater alignment for their desired success. And our client results are really fun and exciting and the mentors results of their clients are really exciting to hear about as well. I've shared some of the highlights with you today, you know, like our client who doubled her monthly income within six weeks. And that was meant she was able to invest in a new training program that gave her skills to offer a new service to her clients, creating quantum results for them and continued business growth for them. Or our client who healed headaches that she'd had daily for over 20 years in one session and kicked her procrastination to the curb which meant she then had a new zest for life and training as a a healer and a coach or our client who cleared entities from a home that had plagued the family for years and then they were finally able to actually have a peaceful night's sleep resulting in more happiness in in their home so it's truly so exciting and you'll see as you scroll down the page that you receive everything you need straight away so you can dive into all the digital recordings and trainings prior to the live call so the live calls um, for this next round start in September so this is perfect to be able to soak in the experience come and be part of our incredible um, community and then uh, over the summer and then to get started in September and you receive over 40 helix method energetics and reality creation trainings these are you know guide you through the foundational and the advanced techniques plus three programs you'll receive 30 laser focused coaching and practice session calls so this is where i demonstrate uh, there's never a shortage of people saying yes please can i be your vip to demonstrate uh to you know have a practice session with so you'll watch me working with people so i know that that's hugely um supportive for people learning and uh, you get to you know experience working with me in that way as well so you get to observe we have a discussion about why i did what <laughs> at the end of it um and you have practice sessions for yourselves as well with each other so you're fully supported whilst you're practicing um, and that you can really integrate these these techniques um, before you go out and use them with your with your clients. And then you continue, of course, to develop your skills. So this is where we've got all the training the schedules laid out in the membership site that helps you know to plan ahead. Um, we have an integration period over the summer and the Christmas period so that, you know, that's uh, just a, a couple of weeks break. So typically people are with families at that time. And essentially, we're taking you through the program twice. You can embody the learning and the practice at a deeper level. And so you will know what we're covering on the on the calls when you look at the look at the training training schedule. Um, We've got got a private forum, which I know is absolutely priceless. And this is where everyone connects and has, you know, behind the scene conversations. Everything's housed in our membership site because that makes it just much easier for everybody to find everything. And the community is amazing that all the Helix Method mentors are just the most wonderful people that you could possibly um, have in your life and to be part of a high vibe community and so you have incredible friendships that grow you're able opportunities to collaborate together you know partnerships lifetime friendships that I think is truly truly priceless and then in registering for the helix method you automatically receive a license to deliver three programs upon your certification within your business so these programs are already created so you can just deliver them straight away or you know if you've got your own offerings you can add them to your other offerings and they cover self love and confidence health and well-being and your wealth consciousness you know and depending on your price point but typically just three new clients stepping into these ready made programs for you you know, where you're hosting the content, whether it's live or pre-recorded, you'll you'll make your investment back, plus skills for life. And of course, all the referrals that you're going to going to receive. You receive working with me. So um, I'll be working with you, the creator of the Helix Method, 
I understand energy psychology and manifesting really, really well. So I'm so excited to, 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 to coach you through this. And we've got incredible bonuses for everybody. So we have the Wealth Portal Club. So you'll be able to use this outstanding nine module digital program to break through your money ceiling in 60 days or less. We have the love codes. You'll be able to experience the thrill of upgrading your relationships for your most actualized and authentic self. Um, and this is a six powerful digital module. So this is so you can have your own testimonial before you go and teach this, teach this to others, which is super powerful. And then as a, a bonus, you're invited to be featured on our website. We'll send you all the juicy details of what's required so you can benefit from our high performing SEO and position yourself as a leader in the transformational transformational space. And this is so exciting. So the Helix Method has been certified and accredited program worldwide through the International Practitioners of Holistic Medicine. So you have the opportunity to register with IPHM uh, to become a registered practitioner of the Helix Method. And you get that global recognition, which is really, really cool. So what's the investment? So if you choose to pay in full, we have got some incredible bonuses for you. So this is so exciting. So when you pay in full, we have you first bonus is you receive a private private immersion with me. Yes, and you can focus on whatever you want. The second one is we give you a business toolkit. So we have your roadmap to, to 12K to, to, to 60K month masterclasses, copywriting club, so that you've got a toolkit to help you with the business side of things and how to grow your audience in an energetically aligned way. And this is so that the training and certification program is going to provide you with you know, a pioneering way to create that greater impact with your clients and to be able to help them change their narrative in life so that they can experience a new reality. And so the investment, so what we've done is there are lots of programs out there where they are very heavy on the curriculum and, and uh, making you kind of jump through huge hoops and things. Plus you're working with hundreds and hundreds of other people along the way and paying up to about 30K for the opportunity to implement the method. There is an easier way. This is the way. You, you know that you need just exactly what you want to create the results for you, for your clients and to be mentored by me personally. So we have a, so created three options. There's two on here. So I'm just going to grab the second link for you because it's a special masterclass link for you. So this is just to help it be a really easy yes. So these are exclusive masterclass pricing. So you won't see these on my website. So we have an early bird coupon for you. So exciting. So the early bird coupon is gives you 50% off. So if I give you the pricing in pounds, you can see we've converted, we've got the conversions in USD. So you can um, pay in USD or in British pounds, whatever you know is more aligned for you. The coupon code is Helix in capitals, H-E-L-I-X, and that will give you 50% off. It's only valued until the 19th of June. So choose the most aligned um, plan for you. Just to explain how it works, because we click on here so I'll just demonstrate so what you would do here if you're wanting to pay in dollars is you come on here takes you to this page you can see it says select my payment plan so let's say you wanted to pay in full you need to change the number here to one so it selects one or if you wanted to go for the um, payment plan you'd select one there and then you type in helix apply the coupon code and then it gives you 50% off. So that is if you're paying uh, by USD, you just go straight to that page. If you're paying by British pounds, <laughs> then you would scroll down. Now, if you're on your mobile phone, um, you'll have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to get the, the, the pounds, um, but on your computer, we'll just their position side by side. So this one, you go on to, just want to show you where the coupon code is so you can find it. So you just click on that link and then you'll see here it says view details. So you click on view details and that's where you add in the promotion code. So um, you'd add in Helix, apply, and then you can see it's uh, giving you 50% off. Alrighty, and then the other payment option that we have for you as well, which is super exciting, is we have got the um, pay 
£3,000 now and then £3,000 in six months time. So um, uh, that one you don't need a coupon code for because we've just created a special link. So I'll pop that in the, I'll pop these in the chat for you. Um, where are we? Okay, so this is the special special link for you. And then this is the early bird coupon code and the Helix method checkout for you. So you have that all to hand. Perfect. Alrighty. So excited to invite you to, to the Helix method. And for the first three that pay in full, we're going to throw in two weeks box of coaching with me as well. That's a, so you'll receive that. I, I would recommend receiving that around the time of your private session with me. So we'll have your private session and then followed by two weeks box of coaching as well. So excited to see who's stepping forward to, to claim those. Alrighty. So let me know if there are any questions. The other thing to say is we are limiting the spots to 12 people. Um, so that I can work with you closely. So do register now so you can claim one of those spots for, for you. Um, and if you're needing time to gather some funds, but you know that you're coming in, just give, me a, give us a heads up at clientcare at louisahavers.com. And uh, we will be there to welcome you and answer any, any questions. And before I wrap up, I just wanted to extend the opportunity to see if there's any questions to pop them in the chat. This could be about the program or it could be about what we've covered. There we go. Let's see. All righty. This is a heads up. Our early bird coupon expires on the 19th of June. And then our investment will be going up. Alrighty. If there are any questions and you've watched the replay and you've got a question, do just tag me below the replay and then I can circle back and, and answer the question for you. Or equally, you can email in at clientcare at louisahavers.com. Alrighty. Thank you so much for joining us for the Helix Method Masterclass. Oh, I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you so much for being here. It's been such a joy. We've been activating being self-empowered. I cannot wait to see what you create. Let's just take a moment to consider your intention at the beginning of our time together, what your takeaway is. We take a moment to ask that our vortex is closed, thanking our ancestors and guides. I self. Looking forward to welcoming everybody to the Helix Method community. We have opened our doors. This community is going to stay open. So this is the place for you to come and find out more about the Helix Method, to experience more about the Helix Method. We'll be sharing some inspirational stories over the coming days. And if you've got any questions, please do just either reach out to me in Messenger or you can email at clientcare.theresahavers.com. Alrighty, sending you all so much love. Take care. Bye-bye.